Good day, everyone. Welcome to ITH channel. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a table of specification. A table of specification is very important, especially in planning um, examinations and or tests to your learners. All right, so let us start. So I have here a sample of the TOS. So of course we have first the heading, and this is the first periodical test in English five. Okay, and of course we have the school year 2022-2023 table of specification for English five. So take note that in making a TOS, you should have first the objectives that you had tackled for the full quarter. So in our part here, or in our lesson, we get the objectives from our MELCs. So I have here the list of MELCs for the first quarter. And then we have the number of days taught. So you have to put here the numbers, the number of days where, uh, and the number of days that were in you tackled the specific um objective then we have here the placement of items later you are going to uh, plan about it but before planning the placement of items of course you have first to have the percentage of the topic the number of items per topic and of course the item placement so let's focus to the first objective so we have here fill out forms accurately such as the school forms, deposit and withdrawal slips, etc. So I taught that for three days. So here we put the, the number of days. So we have three. And then, of course, we are going to uh, do the same way to the other objectives. And all in all, I had taught for 37 days for the first quarter. Okay, this is the, the this total number of days or the total actual um, class is very important in looking or in uh, finding the percent or the percentage of the topic. So the total number of uh, actual of days taught, you are going to divide that to the number of days taught. Okay, so we have here, uh, I mean, the total, that the number of days taught, you're going to divide that to the no total number of days taught. So here we got 8.11%. Then for the number of items per topic, all you have to do is you are going to multiply J16, this one, okay? the 8.11 percent you are going to multiply that to the number of items which is the 50 items so you are going to change that into 0 0.5 and then uh, close and open parentheses you are going to multiply that by 100 to get the number of items per topic so we have four right and then you are going to plan the item placement for that so i planned it to have one two four so here, in the placement of items, all you have to do is that you should consider the Bloom's taxonomy. Of course, you have to um, plan the easy, average, and difficult questions. So for the easy one, it's 70% of the total number of items. So you will have 35%. I mean 35 items, and then for the average, it should be 20% of the total number of items, so it's 10. And uh, the difficult, which is the 10% of it, so we have five items, difficult questions. So looking back to the Bloom's taxonomy, take note that understand and remember is considered to be the easiest one. For the remember, it means that you are only recalling the facts okay and basic concepts so we have here define duplicate list memorize repeat and state and for the understand we have to explain ideas or concepts 
Um, example of it is classify, describe, discuss, explain, identify, locate, recognize, report, select, and translate. And the average, which is uh ten percent. Oh, I mean ten ten total number of items. We have the analyze and apply. For apply, you use information in new situation. So, for example, we have execute, implement, solve, use, demonstrate, interpret, operate, schedule, and sketch. And for the analyze, we have to draw connections among ideas. Um. We can use here the word differentiate, organize, relate, compare, contrast, distinguish, examine, and experiment questions or test. And for the difficult one, which only consists of five items, we have the evaluate and create. So for evaluating, you have to justify a stand or decision. So appraise, argue, defend, judge, select, support, value, critic, or weigh. And for the last one, you have to produce new original or uh, produce new or original work. That means you have to design a symbol, construct, conjecture, develop, formulate, author, and investigate. So I still have here uh, Bloom's taxonomy digital planning verbs. So for remembering, you have you can use copying, defining, finding, locating, quoting, listening, googling. Repeating, retrieving, outlining, highlighting, memorizing, networking, searching, identifying, selecting, tabulating, duplicating, matching, bookmarking, and bullet pointing. For the understanding, we have annotating, tweeting, associating, tagging, summarizing, relating, categorizing, paraphrasing, predicting, comparing, Contrasting, commenting, journal, journaling, interpreting, grouping, inferring, estimating, extending, gathering, exemplifying, expressing. For the applying, we have acting out, articulate, reenact, loading, choosing, determining, displaying, judging, executing, examining, implementing, sketching, experimenting, hacking, interviewing, Painting, preparing, playing, integrating, presenting, and charting. For analyzing, we have calculating, categorizing, breaking down, correlating, deconstructing, linking, meshing, mind mapping, organizing, appraising, advertising, dividing, deducting, distinguishing, illustrating, structuring, integrating, attributing, estimating, and explaining. And for the highest uh, for the higher uh, higher order, we have the evaluating and creating. For evaluating, arguing, validating, testing, scoring, assessing, criticizing, commenting, debating, defending, detecting, experimenting, grading, hypothesizing, measuring, moderating, posting, predicting, rating, reflecting, reviewing, and editorializing. And for the last one, we have the creating. We can use um, blogging, building, animating, adapting, collaborating, proposing, devising, podcasting, wiki feeding, writing, filming, programming, simulating, role playing, solving, mixing, facilitating, managing, negotiating, and leading. All right, so there you have it, guys. I hope that I had helped you in planning for your TOS for your making of the examination for the first quarter and for the and for the um, what's this one for the soft copy of the TOS you can find it in the link below um in my description so there you have it thank you so much for listening and I hope that this will really help you see you next time please don't forget to like subscribe my channel goodbye